What's going on guys, your boy Guess is out. We are here, we're live. We're about to get it done, let's do it. So, Pearl Jam is also a favorite band of mine because Even Flow is one of my favorite songs. And when I heard it for the first time, it was, I was playing Guitar Hero. Believe that. Having an out-of-state show, especially for an album release, is something huge to me because I've always been performing in the Scranton area or around APA, Wilkes-Barre area, stuff like that. So to have an outside show and to have my face on a billboard in a different state that's near my home state because I'm originally from New York, um, it's honestly a blessing. Queen Bohemian Rhapsody, okay, is one of my favorite songs by Queen. I. So, like, I just want to buy the whole store. So, all right, so I'm a three-time Steam Time Music Award winner, a two-time Access NPA uh, Best of Series winner. Uh, I'm a one-time 570 Music Show winner. And I just recently won uh, Performing Artist of the Year at the Keystone stage. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I might have missed one or two. Foo Fighters, like, oh my God. Look, I'm wearing a Metallica shirt, okay? Not because of Stranger Things either. What it means to me to be an award-winning music artist, um, it means a lot, but at the same time it doesn't because I'm an award-winning music artist to my local area. So to me, yes, that's local celebrity status. You know, it, it, it shows that I've accomplished my goals and I, I put enough work in to be honored with those awards. But I want to say until I reach like Grammy level or BET award, VMA award. The awards mean something to me in a minimal way. The Fugees. So, my sister's favorite song by them is Ready or Not. Um, and I, obviously that's one of their hit songs. That's one of the songs that they're known for. Um, and Ready or Not has played throughout my house a plethora of times. Rock, rap, pop, R&B. We're gonna be dancing, grooving, rocking out, headbanging. So I've walked in and around this wonderful establishment and I have found some items that are dearest to me. First one being Jeepers Creepers. Michael Jackson's Thriller album. This is a Whitney Houston record and this is more so a sentimental purchase to me because my mother who is no longer with me. She really loved Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was her favorite artist. And as I was picking this cassette, ironically, it was the only one left. So that's how I knew I had to pick it. I had to pick it up and I had to own it in honor of my mother because Whitney Houston was her favorite. And Whitney Houston is also no longer with us. She was an amazing, amazing singer. This. People Weekly magazine is from June 27th, 1988. This Friday at Factory Records, I will be here with Chasing Paragon, Sin Karma, and CJ Supreme bringing you the It's Okay, You Don't Have to Understand album release show. We're going to be turning up. We're going to be having a good time. We're going to be rocking out with our socks out. It's going to be a blast. Come through. Limited slots available. Get your tickets now online or you can get them at the door. I've been Gus Savage. This has been me doing some shopping at Factory Records Complex Style. I'll see you on Friday.